Jesus, we are done, please. Professor Kelsey. Tell all that to that Kelsey. Could you wait that up? Professor. Yeah, Professor. Greetings, Frederick. Greetings, greetings. I haven't got that as yet. It's it's lovely this this um topic that we're actually discussing about the spiritual gift. All right, we said you know the topic is saying um, and um. Trust God because we can get there. Paul is actually talking here and, um, you know, in Corinth, and he can see the various gifts and he's saying they have their purpose. Just like if you look at your body, there are different members of your body. Wow. And the foot can say it doesn't need a hand, and the hand can say it, need, it doesn't need a foot. And so it is with the diverse gifts that's given to us. The gifts are given so we can work with our gifts in the church for mm -hmm. God. That's what the gifts are for. Yeah. Use it to stone. I know some people have achieved and they think they're above the next person. Yeah. yeah. But all it is is just a gift. Mm -hmm. And we must excel in that gift to the best of our ability, so we can serve others. And by serving others, at the same time, we too are learning. Yes. Some of us have got um, one gift, some have got two. Some are multi-talented, multi-gifted, and every gift is given according to our abilities. And what we have to do is work with our gifts. So we can edify the body of Christ. That's what it's all about. Whether you got the gift of teaching, the gift of prophecy, the gift of interpretation, the gifts of healing, the gift of creating miracles, and the gift of diverse tongues. Some people have got the gifts of tongues. They can speak more than one tongue. And that's why sometimes when people do speak in tongues, I heard Pastor said it earlier, that um, we ought to wait. It is right that we wait, because otherwise we'll create confusion, and God is not an author of confusion. Therefore, sometimes when the tongues are spoken, it is better when there's an interpretation because we edify the body of Christ with a message that comes forward. But there are other times when tongues are spoken, it is between the individual and God. Yes, I agree. And they're worshipping at a level. And sometimes they reach a level. It's only the gift of tongues that, they, that is endowed upon them that they carry on the prior or the worship they are in. Because there are, there are levels. There are levels where they can um, evoke the realm of God and they've gone into the inner court of their worship. And therefore, it's between themselves and God. Amen. Amen. Uh, at that particular time, God can um, anoint them afresh and remind them that they've been given certain gifts and he's there for them. Some people felt like um, there's a tap of water just running down from the top of their head right through their soul, inner soul, because they have reached a level of peace with God and God refreshes a spiritual man and reminds them that he's still God. He hasn't left them, and he heard, yeah. and he's here for them. Yeah. But there are levels. It's mm. not everyone can preach like Paul. It's not everyone can sing like angels. But we have our duty to do within the body of Christ. Some, as I heard Sister Rosie just said, some play the music. 
but they cannot teach. Some teach, but they cannot play the music. Some will preach, but they cannot teach, because I heard Pastor just touch on to that. They're excellent people. But it means something else in order to teach. And there are some teachers that cannot preach, but they can teach the Word of God at a level where it can be understood. Some preachers will go into a lot of theological terms just to show that they have been through the training. And as I said before, it's not the accolades that we have achieved theologically that we should come on the platform and expound in such a way and leave that because they still wondering what we thought. We don't understand. So what we ought to do, we have to make sure that the word is broken down so we can edify all. That meaning the letters of the alphabet. The first day you arrive at school, you're not able to spell certain words unless you're a genius. <laughs> from A to Z. And then we start learning words. We we form the word, the letters, the sounding. It's the very same within the body of Christ. We're at a school, we're learning. We excel, and then we go into the inner court of start our duties so that others can learn as well from us. But the church is there with the usage of our gifts to serve the body of Christ. That's why the gifts are given. It's not to use to show off. Um, it's not to use to say I've got more gifts than the next person because the foot has got its place, the hand has got its place, the fingers have got their place, and the knee bones has got its place, the backbone has got its place, the head, the eye, the nose. Every member of our body is a reason why it's given and it all needs to be used for the church so we can give the glory to God. As far as I said earlier in Proverbs 27, iron sharpens iron. And when we come together, we come together to lift up one another and to encourage one another with our testimonies and the way we teach and the way we communicate in the body of Christ because it is to the glory of God. I'd just like to give somebody else an opportunity that they too can share their experiences. There are people that sweep the church and they clean the bathroom. And no matter how well you think you can clean and do the flooring, you cannot do it better than them. They see things that you cannot see. They know the right disinfectant to use to bring the right order to make sure everything is spick and spam, like my grandmother always said. And that is their part. We should never look down on somebody's gift or try to challenge them because their gifts or their gift is required within the body of Christ. It's not everyone that goes in the kitchen can cook. Some will prep. They would cut up all the carrots onions and all the cabbages and it's all laid up nicely but when the chef comes in it's not all chefs are kitchen porters either they can go in and can do all the top dishes you can possibly think of in the culinary world but they need a kitchen porter to wipe down mm. to put the bins in order to disinfect the areas so that everything is well maintained hygienically in its place. So we all have a purpose in the kitchen of God, in the body of Christ, so we can work as one unit to give glory to God and Him alone because we are serving. Amen, saints. God bless you. Amen. May His Spirit Amen. rest.
from every one of you. Bless you too. And we learn. We will continue learning until um, we leave the earth. Because there are so many gifts. Remember that. Mm. There are many gifts. Many and gifts. if you're given one, work within that. Because that's yes. all you can manage. Because if yes. you're given another one, you may break your back. So there's no point envying someone who has got two and three gifts. Pray them up that they will walk within their gifts and 